Alright guys, welcome to another episode of King of the Fish. We're at Reculver today. Me, and brother Ashley, as you see before in the last video at Chatham Medway. We've got another Hello, guest, guys. Kirk. Getting married in a, a few weeks and I'm his uh, best, best man. man. Yep, yeah, I'm his best man. So, you? Yeah. But yeah, we're at Reculver and we're hoping to get some cracking fish. Hopefully. I don't know what we're going to get. Mm. Armed with some lugworm, peeler crab, to see what's about really. Doubt we get a cod, but we're the fish, here to catch anything. Gets us out. This is going to be the Halloween special, guys, nearly forgot. Uh, when we finished, we're going to do a little bit of exploring, like a bit of a ghost hunt around uh, these uh, towers here. So I thought it would be a good idea to do something special like this as a bonus. So. Watching this one, it's gonna be a good video. Great view, isn't it? Love it. Yep, so we keep you updated. Stay tuned. <laughs> They're doing some work down here, guys. Doing some work on the beach. We just spoke to them and they said as long as you stay on the inside, like towards the water, you'll be alright. So, we'll be fishing right here. Let's get set up. Alright guys, we're here now, it's really windy down here, so we're all huddled up in my shelter at the moment, just two rods out. I've got a flapper rig on my rod, which is the right, and my brother's rod on the left, he's got a um, Pennell Paternoster on there. It's a bit shallow out there at the minute, so I thought, well I'll just stick a um, flapper rig out to see what's about any flatties or anything. On some lug, uh, but when the tide comes in and it gets a bit more up here and it gets deeper out there, then um, I'll be putting the Paternoster out on a big lug bait to see what's about really. So, so what bait are you using, Jay? I've got some um, peeler legs and a little bit of lug there for a flatty. It's nice, it's nice. Bait there. Another lovely bit right there. Jason with his second cast. Peter crab on the bottom, the lug at the top. Let's go out. Let's see what's about. Going on a Paternoster rig. Down to a splash down clip. So what I do is when they're new, because you need to wear them in a bit. I sorry about that. I spit on it like that. Just blow it off, and that just lubricates it. 
I only do that a few times. Um, well, I do it pretty all the times really because obviously that will lubricate it, helping it to release. Because as you know, sand will build up inside that over time. So, sending that out. Paternoster, get this clipped up and send it out. Two flapper thing. Take that off. This is going on. There we go. You're actually over there as well. Getting ready to cast this next one out. And obviously you've got Jason just there. Nice cast as usual. Aim for the boy. Focus. That'd be all right. He ain't really been fishing much. So I'm teaching him. Alright guys. I'm going to bait up, it's getting dark now, so to get a good bait up part of the video, I thought I'd do it now. Um, this is a peeler. Take that shower. Is it alive? Not really. <laughs> Take them off. I might put them on later. They usually just come on. Take some of the shell off. Like that. I don't really bother with un the, the underbelly. I just keep it like that. I snip up. Put it in two. Put the rubbish down there. I put on a nice lug worm first. So we can show you guys. It's all the luck we got today. And a nice peeler. I did have um, some Tronics elastic, but I lost it, so this has to do. Which I did get from Angler's Den. And what I do is I try and get on a smaller worm. Like that. Just put him on the end. As you can see, guys, he's trying hard. Oh, pop him a little bit. And then I'd 
spring. Alright, down. Like that. Bring that into the bait. One, two, three. And I come close to the crab like that. Pull on there. That will. Usually it looks better than that. For some reason it's gone a bit. Well, pretty sure the fish will go for anything, mate, if they're hungry. Let's the crabs don't strip the strip this one, eh? Yeah. I will try and push another lug on there actually to sort that out. There's As you can tell guys, we are trying trying for you to get a fish. Oh, to take that out. So you can actually see but like But I mean it's still nothing. Right, take two. Jamie, don't add this. I'm going to delete it anyway. Right. <laughs> right, this is take three because I have just messed it up big time. Rushing to get out of there because it's getting dark and I want to get this done quick before uh, the dark settles in. But there we go. I've got um, a bit of lug at the top. I've got a peeler in the middle. I'm going to put a bit more elastic on that. But yeah, uh, and then a lug at the bottom. Clip that up on another pattern Oster rig and that's going out there now before it gets dark. So, stay tuned. Guys, all sorted now. Lug, crab, going out before it gets dark. So, I don't know if we'll be getting much on the camera because of this dark that's settling in now, so, but we'll try our best. I've got a light to try and shine down on the rods, so hopefully that helps. I think you'll get bites on your left down rod there. Anyway, stay tuned. Keep watching, guys. Two brothers both reading in. Jason's just reading in to change his bait. Ashley thinks, well, we think he's got a fish. I just don't get any crabs again, guys. She's in, guys. Looks like she's crabs again. Jason, nothing either. Crabs again, bro. Also, we've got like tracks, we've got a step over as yeah, well. Yeah, so it makes it, you know, a lot harder. We've had them down here today. Doing whatever they were doing down here. Makes it a little bit awkward for us. But, you know, crabs again. Not for that one, brother, either. No. Just let's have a look. Well, look, guys, oh, just crabs as well. Doesn't look fantastic, to be fair. Put up Got the other one. Just made up. Let's see, guys, set this 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 area, this area gets out a lot faster, as you see. He comes prepared, unlike us. Look at, it, look, look at that, look. It. Looks tasty to eat that. Go on, bruv, give us a good old whack. Alright, guys, just putting on straight lug at the moment until it starts to come up a little bit more like the tide. But for now, we're just putting that out, just seeing what happens. Hopefully, no crabs. Hopefully, not, bruv, because at the minute that's all we've been getting. Shipping the bait all the time, isn't it?
Lovely, bruv, lovely. Let's catch a fish, bruv. Let's hope for a fish. Okay, guys, Jason's just getting a few nibbles on his rod at the moment. Let's see if I can get that on there for you. There we go, see that? Yeah. A nice bite that, wouldn't it? Well quite warm tonight so cuddling could be uh, the rays could be about so let's try it. all right guys I don't know if you can see this very well but as you can see we're into the darkness now I'm getting bites on both rods I've got Peter crab on the right and I've got lug on the left it's just white in taps I was hoping they'd leave the crab alone but they're just touching everything we put out there so that's waiting for you Rats of the sea this time of year. Well, stay tuned. At least we're catching and not blanking. Double shot of white, not bad size ones. As expected, really. You know what we say, bro? Loads fish, of these. Fish are fish, though, bro, isn't it? And that's not what we're after, but it's better than, a bl better than blanking. Weren't even hooked. The line had wrapped round it. Uh, well, there you go, guys. Sometimes you get the luck, didn't you, bro? Yeah. I put them back. Put them back, bro. So the doggy, literally just put it out there. Whack. Another rat of the sea. <laughs> Got that right. That's all we're getting tonight, guys, is doggies and uh, whiting. It's not a bad size one, this one, though. <clears throat> Good size. I'll just unlock this one and get him back. Here's another one. It's not looking good because we don't want these, but this is quite a nice one, though. I'm going to get him off and then get him back. Nice double shot of whiting on the lug. Shame it's only whiting, but you know, what can you do? Fish is a fish. Yeah, exactly. Nice one, Kirk. Now, I'm going to put these back. Set. Just add this, guys. Lug worm. Nope, that one peeler, that one. Nice oh. big old doggy. The biggest one of the night, bruv, isn't it? Probably is actually, yeah. We don't want any of them really though, do we? No. I'm put but ah. we have had fish ah. after fish this is tonight. How I on them. Grab hold of the tail like that. His head like that. Grab the hook straight out. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see me, um, all we've had is doggies and whiting on this session. Uh, the doggies have been hammering the crab and the whiting have just be been hammering anything we've put out there. What, you know, any baits at all. But it's been good fun, it's been a good session. Better than the last session. We'll try down there again soon. Just need some, we need some frost, that's what we need. We need a little bit of frost for a few days and then it'd be good to get down there. I'm getting bites on both rods right now, so I'll be bringing them in. But yeah, we're gonna be making our way down to uh, the car soon. Um, we're gonna load the car up, 
and then we're going to go and do a little ghost hunt thing for the Halloween special for this Halloween special video we're going to do a little tour around the uh, Culver Towers and call out to any spirits that might be there something I've never done before but it's all for the Halloween video so I thought it would be something good to try yeah I mean I have been read, reading up online that it's supposed to be haunted there is a page online about it apparently a lot of monks get seen there Romans cries of babies one time there was a guy driving uh, with his partner to Recolver Tower down the Recolver Lane to, towards Recolver Towers and um, the guy who was driving sort of went into shock because um, he's seen somebody with a hood hooded fella no legs walk across the road into a bush <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna uh, get down there and make this the Halloween special video Let's see what I can get Let's see if we pick up anything you never know <laughs> But yeah, stay tuned, keep watching, speak to you soon. Right guys, we're here at Recover Towers now. We're going to do a little seance to see if there's anything here. This is all for the Halloween special video. So, yeah, we're going to be serious on this. Because I'm very sceptic of the whole thing and... So it'd be nice to know if this stuff really is legit. So here we go. Let's try it. Just to let you know I'm here with my brother Ashley. And my brother-in-law Kirk. Right. No one around, is there? Just want to make sure there's no one around. We definitely checked everywhere, guys, didn't we? Yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say something, and then we're gonna have a moment of silence after that. Okay, all right. That's good to me, bro. You ready? Yep. If there's anyone here, we ask you to come forward and make a sound. So we got there, a little tap. If that was you, could you do that again, please? I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Jason. This is my brother Ashley. My father-in-law, Kirk. Father-in-law. Um, brother, <laughs> brother-in-law. <laughs> Sorry. I know, mate. You're older than me. But yeah, if there's anyone here, can you please make a sound? If you can't make a sound, then come forward to this camera and say something into the camera. told that this place is haunted, um, that there is spirits here. We've heard that there's been cries of babies, there's rumours of babies being buried behind these walls, or somewhere on these grounds. Is that true? Could you make a sound please, if that is true? We have also heard the... Oh,
We're at the other end now of the towers. So there is the towers. We're just about to make it out. But we thought we'd stand down at you know, this part of it and just give it a go. Well, I'm just looking round. Is there anybody here trying to make themselves known? Please do. Even if you want to speak into the camera. Was there monks here? There's Jason and there's Kurt. It doesn't feel right. It's just like it feels like normal, doesn't it? You can't feel like there's nothing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just feels like normal. But that night we was but, here, though, bruv, it was def different, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that time we was here, we walked back, not through, and we come, didn't we? And <laughs> stood over there. We definitely heard some more stuff down in front of us, Kurt. Like a long way. Oh, don't, don't deny it, bro. It's an old place, isn't it? I mean, we had to leave on a hurry up because of it. <laughs> so we thought we'd just give this lot a try, but you know, like again, to see if it's gonna like, show up, if anything, on the camera. Yeah, how do you feel, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Feel fine, mate. Like Jay said, it just feels normal, doesn't it? It's like you're standing hmm. next to an old old church. I would ask again if there's anyone here, can you please make a sound? Please. Let's put this plaque up. Show you guys. People stand up on top of their balcony bits. There's no way of getting up there. As we see earlier, there's the doors blocked off to the stairs. There's no way of getting up there, is there? No, you can't get there's in that door. Monks here. It's all locked. But it does lead up to the next level. Yeah. Possibly yeah. to the top. Yeah, but like, there's no way of getting in there. So. Oh, yeah. Window there. Two windows up there. But then, them two. Are smaller than that side, yeah, and that's what makes me think. And then you was look on this, this side, side built different you look on this side, time different to this side to what's over here, but all three of them windows have got the same, all them windows have the same pattern on. But that window there is just like squares, so I don't know whether or not there's actually a window in it or they've had to change it along the time. I don't know, really couldn't tell you. Still not sure on this place, guys, to be honest. Yeah, still not sure. Um, but as I say, guys, last time I come here, 100% sure certain something. Oh, we was over there. I'm trying to torch. Last, it was a couple of years ago. We was over there where the um, door is, me and my brother. And, and what we did was just had a couple of minutes silence just to see if we could hear anything. Didn't say nothing or anything. And, um, we, I heard footsteps in front of me. It was like someone was marching up and down. And well, we, me and Ashley were just me and my brother. We, we we just we wasn't there very long. We legged it, so we didn't like actually like leg it. But we was just gone. We were just like, yeah, okay, there's something here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it was weird. This is all for the Halloween special. That's all we're doing this for. Hoping and praying, you know. We've all heard it, we've all heard, everyone, everyone's heard of stories about this place, I'm sure some of you watching have heard stories. But like, are they true? Well they're not, you know? We couldn't tell you. We haven't seen or heard nothing. I've heard you know? that there's, um, they've, apparently there's um, monks or have been walking across there. Yeah, I've heard there was, I've heard Because there used to be another floor there, didn't there? Yeah, there I've heard there's floors. people spotted in the balcony windows just standing there. Have you? Yeah. 
That's what I've been hoping, like, just scan my head across like that slowly, see if I catch anything, just quickly, but... It's supposed maybe, the, maybe the footage, we'll see something. And there is supposed to be um, a Roman soldier that still patrols. Yeah, meant to be. Any spirit well. form, and he patrols around these premises around here. Yeah, the stories of babies crying as well, apparently. Look, we ain't had nothing today. Well, but, tonight, shall I say. I mean, I think... I'm not saying that's what I think that was, but some it was like there was someone marching up and down there at that time when it brother we was over there in that corner. Let's go back over there. Because be we heard a click. Heard. There was that noise, wasn't there? The tap. There was. time okay there's three of us here we've been here a while already this would be our second attempt if there is anybody here any spirits please could you come forward and let us know you are here by making a sound can you tap on something or throw something, anything to get your attention. We mean you no harm, we come in peace. If you have anything to say, please come to this device that I'm holding in my hand and speak into it. Can you not just tap on something, just a, very lightly, just a little tap just so we know you're here? I don't feel we hear anything, do you? No. No. Because I'm sure I heard someone walking up and down here. Well, this is where we were stood with me, Rob, that, like, that, a couple of years ago. Don't, 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 don't be so down, bro. Maybe it's like the camera's picked up something. Yeah. You never know, mate. Sometimes the human eyes can't see a lot of things. And the human ears can't hear certain sounds, you know? So it's all about listening back and watching the video. It was spooky that night, wasn't it? There was a different feel to it than tonight. Tonight I just feel absolutely nothing. Mm. That night, it just feels like them two years ago, it was like, it's a yeah, different feel to it, wasn't it? It was like, oh, I just don't feel right, bruv. And then we was hearing noise, it wasn't way above us, like there. But we think it might have been the pigeons. But then we definitely heard footsteps, like someone was like, you hold the camera and I'll show you what it was like. But not so loud, it was a bit quieter than that, wasn't it? Mm. Do you remember it? It was like coming up and down. Yeah, definitely it was a bit of a weird like, sound. But it did this sound around, a bit like steps. Someone like walking, didn't it? Yeah. So the rumours of a baby, a baby being buried in the abortion. Anyway, if you go down that end, there is a big, like, a big like, hole in the wall. Sort of like goes in and then goes round. I absolutely feel nothing. I feel like <coughs> maybe we should just turn all the lights off. Yeah, but you can't see anything, bruv. No, but then that picks up sound, that camera, doesn't it? Let's turn all the lights off. All lights off, yeah? Yours is still on. Now, look. 
that feels different, doesn't it? If there's anybody here, could you please make a sound? Can you tap on something? Anything, just to let us know you're here. We mean you no harm. We just want to know that you're of your existence. You can steal the lights off. It's just normal, isn't it? It's not comfortable, that feeling. Yeah, it's really nice, comfortable. Yeah, it is. That is, brother, isn't it? Exactly yeah. that. Cool. Calm, and relax. I could just be in dark like this. It's quite relaxing, isn't it? But then, really? if the, as monks could end up sleeping here, like, monks are believe, believers you know. of gods, and they like the god, and they Jesus, or was a believer of many gods? I don't know. I don't, I've never really looked into monks what they um, believe in, but monks were allowed to talk. Were they not? No. Uh. I don't know if that's true or it's a myth, but by every every like real life film I've watched, monks weren't allowed to talk. Let us know on that, guys. Down, like in the comment section up below. Yeah, the light just shined up there. Did you see that? Hmm. Was it someone down on the beach? There was a light shining up there. You didn't flick your light on, Kirk? Did you? Kirk. Did no, you put your light on? Off, the light just shot. My light's off, mate. Look. It's been off this whole time, mate. Yeah, so we're just fishermen. And we just would like to know if... Stories here are true. The stories we've heard about this place being haunted is true. Did you see that light? Yeah, I just see another light then, up there. Flash? Yeah. Up there. Is there any light up there, is it? No. Well, I did see that then. You like see the that? Top is, it happened. Yeah. Hey, look. Maybe it's someone walking up. That was someone walking up. Yeah. But that other one wasn't. Right, guys, that brings us to the end of the session. Um, we had plenty of whiting, plenty of dogfish. They were just hammering the bait as soon as, it, as soon as the bait hit the water. Ah, oh, that was just constant. Soon They was on it straight away, which is expected for this time of year, really. And... Uh, yeah, but next time we'll be down here, we'll be for the rays in the spring, and then we'll be on the hounds. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we just do a bit of a ghost hunt, whatever you want to call it, for this for the Halloween, because this video is going out for the Halloween. Um, it's just going to be an add-on for special. Hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next one, wherever we may be. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank you.